Welcome to our lecture online. Now, in this example, notice the difference. We have the denominator, x squared minus a, a squared, raised to the n plus 1 power. Now, if n is equal to 0, so it's simply to the 1 power, then it becomes exactly like the previous video. But with n plus 1, n not being equal to 0, n being equal to 1 or 2 or so forth, then it becomes a different kind of integral. What we have to do then is do the following, and let me show you. So we start with the integral of x dx divided by the quantity x squared minus a squared to the n plus 1 power. And we're going to write this instead as follows. We're going to write this as the integral of x times x squared minus a squared to the minus n minus 1 power times dx. So we can now use the method of substitution. We're going to let u equal what's inside the parentheses, which is x squared minus a squared, in such a way that du dx becomes equal to 2x, or du becomes equal to 2x dx, or dx becomes equal to du divided by 2x, and then we're going to substitute this and this back inside the integral. And again, it's the same principle. Notice that we have an x squared dx, and so the proper differential would be a 2x dx. We need a 2 there, so we put a 2 there and divide by 2. But we're going to accomplish the exact same thing by using the method of substitution. So this becomes equal to the integral of x times, instead of writing this, we're going to write u to the minus n minus 1 power. And instead of dx, we're going to write 2x Oop, not 2x. We're going to write du divided by 2x, and essentially we get the exact same result. The x's cancel out, the 2 can come outside, and we have 1 half times the integral of u to the minus n minus 1 times du, and this we know how to integrate. The way that's done, we simply add 1 to the exponent and divide by the new exponent, so this becomes equal to 1 half times u to the minus n, because minus n minus 1 plus 1 is simply minus n, divided by the new exponent, which is minus n, plus a constant of integration. So we simplify that a little bit. That will be equal to, well, we have a negative here, so that can come up here. This can go to the denominator. So this becomes minus 1 over 2n. So I take the n, bring it out here, the negative up here, and that becomes times 1 over u to the n power plus a constant of integration. So notice the n goes over here, the negative over here, and I get 1 over u to the n to get rid of the negative exponent. And then all we have to do is plug back in what u is equal to. So this becomes equal to 1 over or negative 1 over 2n times 1 over the quantity x squared minus a squared to the n power plus a constant of integration. And this would then be the result of that integral. Notice in the case that n is 1 or larger. And that's how it's done.